Then first thing we're going to do is find the eye bumps and enhance them with the end of the crochet hook. Then find the five DC increases and push the toy eye right into the centre. Securing the eye with the eye backing. So the next step, you need to have the both tail ends parallel to each other. When you've done that, you can stuff the belly with a tiny bit of stuffing, probably about an acorn size. Then flatten the belly like this before closing that seam across the top completely, like so. You'll notice that the tail end is right in the centre and not to the sides of that seam. This means that the belly shaping is facing you. You're now going to work a row of crochet into the front of that seam. This will become the chin. Remember, you're only working each stitch into the front double crochet stitches, not the two sets. That chin row now complete, you can make a note of the centre. This is the bit that will sew onto the centre of the nose later. For the head, open out the mouth like this. Then bring the tail end down towards the inside of the back, like so. Work a few stitches to hold in place. Then bring the chin up towards the head, positioning the centre of the chin just beneath the centre of the nose. Stitch the chin to the row of nose stitches as evenly as possible. Continue joining the side seam, one side at a time, from the nose and the chin to the fold at the bottom. If you like, you can add a little more stuffing into the side before closing the seam completely. For the final step of the body, Make a row of chain stitches for the lip and then sew in place as carefully as you can onto the front of the nose. Now for the limbs, you don't have to use wire, but if you do, this is what you do. Have a length of wire ready and push into the legs position. You're going to sew the limbs over the wire, so to make the ends of the wire safe, bend the cut end over and bind with yarn. Place the wire onto the crocheted limb and neatly sew the ends over the wire. Once you've joined up to the top of the limb, join in place onto the body as neatly as possible. For the other limb, measure how much wire you need, then allow for a little more to be bent over and cut. Then work the second leg exactly as you did for the first. For the arms, exactly the same process as you did for the legs. Crocheting the little arms similarly, creating the fingers. And then joining the limb onto the wire. And then that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.